Welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today we'll talk about the dry dock and we will start from the day one. First of all, uh, what happened in the morning? We was on Anchorage and uh, from the Anchorage we uh, have our main engine stop the digital generators was working and by the tugboats they bring us to the dry dock area as you can see this is uh, the time lapse video here you can see uh, the ship already stopped and uh, there is uh, the cranes which was working around here so let's move on on other videos here if we can see uh, one moment here is some jpeg images ah here we are maybe it will be more uh, visual here as you can see uh, after that after we have reached the dry dock and as you can see from this uh, rail here how uh, the ship is going down the water will be empty and as you can see already some of the crew members are uh, walking around uh, the vessel and they start the procedure of connecting all the shore power they transfer all the tools uh, on the vessel itself and uh, they already embark the vessel but still there is water draining and as you can see after the vessel is still here it's already uh, on the position there is some meters that vessel going down and this is how we enter inside the dry dock as you can see uh, the tugboats push us and one of the tugboat it's leaving uh, from the side here let's bring it here and there position us inside and this is how we enter inside it's really this is in time lapse everything here so this is where I place the camera here how we start from the uh, anchorage area and after that As you can see, we start uh, of working for morning time and until we settle everything, we stop uh, on the evening. The tugboat bring uh, the vessel inside in the port so let's move on on another video this is the nighttime capture already inside the dry dock 
have taken some videos on uh, evening. And this is all the items. This is a uh, welding equipment that they have, the scaffolding. Everything is coming here on the deck. And after that, uh, the guys will be uh, distributed all around this stuff. In the first day, uh, really everything was uh, smooth. Everything was uh, calm. The preparation really was uh, nice. Uh, first of all, they connect. As you can see, it's very, very nice day. Also in the evening. And also here I have made a, a walk around to show uh, how it looked like this LED, this safety LED that they put uh, around. So the guys bring this connection which consists of uh, four fire hoses they connect here in uh, in the inlet the outlet was used by uh, our vessel so the seawater was entering from here from the inlet and then passing inside the cooler and the outlet was going outside uh, to the dry dock this is only the supply so there is a flange here which was removed the valve was closed before the a central cooler was drained was empty and then we fill back again for that uh, case uh, it was not necessary to make blackout steel because uh, we had running the seawater for number one this is uh, our number one uh, central cooler the seawater was running to number two we isolate number one we connect this kind of pipe piping and then we set number one uh, back again to operation so everything uh, still the power was supplied by diesel generator and I believe in this video you can still listen the diesel generators running yes there is still noise from diesel generators that working the next step will be when the seawater will be supplied uh, from the dock itself and also the return will go also to the piping and everything will be switched off the generators will be switched off there will be only supply from uh, the dock itself of the power and also here you can see this is generator running this hose is coming from the sunken deck and lying down like that until the central coolers Really, it's amazing how four horses can supply the cooling for one generator. It's really, really interesting. This is the air manifold. From here, we will take our air uh, necessary connections. Mostly, this is made for the yard. Uh, our connections, our air connections, it's not. Uh, match with that of uh, the dry dock connection is different and pretty here everything is still fine uh, as you can see the condition of uh, the boilers is still like new after the rain and after all that uh, operation that was around there is a lot of damages and a lot of suffer on uh, the engine room we had also lightning problems because some cables get broke let's move on and uh, there is a close view of these horses there is also secured by ropes so they will not fall down here this is the power connection
here there is some horses uh, standby, some spares here, new antenna for internet also came. So for the videos we have finished for the videos and this is uh, that the pump was uh, in the fail mode, the hydraulic pressure shut down level we shut down all managing hydraulic pumps that's why it came so many alarms and this is also some information that engine is not ready start block auto shut down auto slow down everything was a stop the telegraph on stop position all the generators was a change over to diesel and managing also was change over before on the anchorage to diesel so it will be washed off any of the fuel and as much as possible to be ready uh, still our boilers have pressure then the pressure will be dropped uh, for sure i will have uh, some information about that also in MGO mode, our uh, boiler, everything also turned to MGO, as you can see MGO mode. And in other videos also we will see how to change over to MGO our boiler. This is some spare valves which is needed uh, for the dry dock usage and this kind of valves uh, there is some valves which is overboard valves most of them will be ready for replacing after checking uh, properly all the items we will see also some pictures of uh, that valves how to check them and if there is necessary to replace most of them it's really really expensive so what we did we place the name and the number of uh, the valve in the drawing position so it will be easy to determine uh, the position let's check here our composite boiler feed water was still running because we have also our composite boiler running and then also will be switched off uh, some engine room fans also was running this is when we are in dry dock and we have our G diesel generator running still and the composite boiler we was using only for one case only for heating the water only for that one and after that also the composite boiler will be switched off and we will use our electrical heater so also before you are going to a dry dock you will need to check your uh, electrical heater to be in good condition but this also you don't need to check only during dry dock you must check also in the normal uh, operating conditions uh, when you are sailing or uh, when you have time free time so engine room fans will be run mostly of the fans that you will need it's a uh, supply fans you will need always a uh, fresh air to your engine uh, room this is really really important because uh, this will provide a fresh air and positive pressure inside in the engine room and it will be more easy to breathe this is how it looks like uh, our uh, IGS system in that moment also our deck seal pumps was stop we have an alarm alarm coming also we have low level of uh, the line here to the deck because there is not any pressure in the tanks the tanks already was parched and also vented everything by the fresh air uh, intake from here for a long time and the tanks was measured to not contain any gases this is how it look our uh, MOP 
we have 15 alarms here engine is not blocked it's also shut down here it shows uh, next it will be blocked for sure by all the procedures uh, necessary to put also the turning gear as you can see main engine it's uh, have two lamps MGO used and loss of heavy fuel used uh, this is mistake because one of the limit was uh, slack and press uh, both in the same time uh, the switches normally one of them must be on indication and here we have uh, the indication that our diesel generator it's in uh, heavy fuel use uh, this is not proper because here we have already changed over our diesel generators here also we had uh, some problem with uh, the indication this is how it looks like the diesel generator panel uh, the this generator is ready number one standby number two standby and this one generator is running also as you can see we have a 440 uh, fall here in this monitor and let's take a close look on this kind of uh, signals that uh, this 440 and group signals alarms have so next we have one low running uh, we have three low pumps but one of them is running for cooling down uh, our uh, diesel generator our refer refer uh, provision refrigerator and our air conditioning system which is also necessary after the generator will be stopped we will have only supply to our uh, refrigerator cooling and our air conditioning also the lighting some fans uh, which is necessary to engine room and that is all all the pumps will be stopped it's not necessary ah, only will run the low temperature pump which is necessary to cool down uh, the refer the aircon and uh, that is all here you can see also the temperatures in that moment in dry dock all this data is from dry dock so you can see uh, some parameters main cooling seawater still running that means uh, the water it's still present it's not empty the dry dock until full in the first day okay it was not empty in the second day morning uh, this everything will be stopped and completely sea water will be supplied from uh, the dry dock pumps here you can see also some cameras of engine room that we have there is a aft camera a forward camera as you can see here this is uh, the visibility what which camera is that we have also in the auxiliary boilers cameras and from here you can see that the depth still it's about a uh, nine point uh, four meters so we was looking also about the electrical heater if we have any spares inside the kappa uh, just uh, to verify that we have that spare in case that is needed here are some views on the cabling and on the dogs the steering gear still it's uh, everything it's off also autopilot uh, was shut down the steering was uh, hard to port as i can see here from the image for the necessary uh, inspection of the shaft of the tail shaft and also for the propeller to be removed that was instructed also from the dry dock personnel also here as you can see then we have uh, the switch off of the 
sea water here as you can see was 2.3 and then we switch off our main cooling seawater pump and as you can see after that you need to monitor uh, if temperature will be stable for your low because now you receive your cooling from the dry dock but the cooling in most cases if the pressure it's uh, keeping the same in the inlet about okay it will be lower for sure uh, about uh, as I remember one kilo it's more than enough and this is how look like our main engine Naptesco made also you can see the date here the time uh, this is this was made 941 most of the time we, we finished uh, in this time uh, with electrician together all the other crew was finished about five o'clock and uh, most of the crew a chief engineer and center engineers that don't care so much uh, about the work in the engine room they just like to leave and finish like that uh, really really quickly as I have seen uh, we have many many problems but in most cases we was both of us uh, to fight with these all problems because when we ask uh, the chief engineer he say I don't know I don't care about that and this was the all over the situation all the time it was really really bad to see uh, that thing and I will uh, share you another situation that uh, you will be very very uh, interested what is happening so you can see also here some parameters if you can see something okay you can ask about that uh, that day we was finished 10 o'clock and the video that I have made before that electrician was telling this a Romanian chief engineer that we finished 10 o'clock and he say that I don't care about what time you are finished so he clearly said that uh, if we stay and we have something to do he's not his uh, problem uh, what else okay this is uh, the shore power available You can see that this is 60 Hertz. Here you can see that fuel pressure drops already, the boil drop already, jacket still have some pressure due to the expansion tank level. And the main starting air valve, uh, air pressure also reduces. So service air pressure also will be drop and slowly slowly uh, we go to zero pressures also to our boilers as you can see also our auxiliary boilers already have depressurized from here only the composite boiler have seven bar and let's see here this is our composite boiler also going to stop in MGO mode and this is how the panel look like this is from a Mitsubishi brand again the IGS system the boilers also going drop this is probably uh, days after two days about maybe or one day in the morning And also you can see here uh, everything, all the parameters, how they reduce. You can see also the alarms. I take some of uh, the alarm system. You can see that there is a lot of alarms coming.
and here also you can see that there is a lot of alarms uh, initiated so here this is at the end of the day also the main air reservoir is was depressurized to see the pressure down this is how the main engine look like still there is not any scaffolding here after that we'll place for passing these uh, pipes also control air and service air here spring air was uh, depressurized everything all uh, this is the drain line also was open so also here you can see the pressure drops again this manifold for the workers which working with this kind of connection and our steering gear hard to port so hope you like this kind of uh, video and pictures style videos and information hopefully i am waiting for your questions to answer your questions and thank you that you have selected these uh, memberships uh, of adventure story academy so next time we will continue with our day two see you next don't forget to stay tuned bye bye dear friends see you in the next video